Oh, you got the confirmation talk? Okay. You got the typical birds and the bees talk? That sucks. <laughs> That's a strong butt. You put your penis in her vagina. That's always my favorite scene of Family Guy. Is the first time that uh, the first time that Meg goes to see her OBGYN, and the doctor looks at her and goes, "Okay, Meg, let's have a look at that vagina," and she looks all concerned, like doesn't even know what the hell this thing's called. Is that the Tummer? I'm just gonna call him the Tummer. Yeah. Mr. Tummer, bring me a dream. Dun, 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 dun. That wasn't the name of that song. Excuse me, Mr. Tummer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right in the butt. No, this is Home Dog the Bloodthirsty. He's got a kitty too. Why do you guys hide your kitties so well? Nobody sees me. Kill the kitty. No, don't do that, Mr. Red Man. Rip kitty. Yeah, dude. Oh, dodged, sucker. Get, get dodged, I guess, would be the saying now. Dead. Where's your kitty? Kitty. There he is. Hi, kitty. Meow. <laughs> Man, he fell a long way. I got out of there. I need to go back in. Let's just use the front door. Hi. It's a pole.
A rogue dagger? Does that mean the dagger is like out on its own? Hey, let me let you guys out. You're welcome. Have fun. Oh, they wanna they wanna You wanna dance? Ow! Rude kitty. How hard do you have to kick, like, a 500, 600 pound lion to get it to go flying, like, 10 feet? You probably have to kick it pretty hard. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. Huh. You must work for Drachmi just like everyone else. Whatever the commander is paying you, I'll pay you more. Then we leave. And let this person die. I could be convinced. On two conditions. Out with it. I'll take double. A life's worth a lot. And for the sake of the gods, don't tell Hippocrates. Ten thousand! You greedy, self-serving toad. Hippocrates only charges what his patients can afford. What makes you so special? He's a great man, but he's not the only one saving lives, Mystios. This is expensive work. Stand back and watch. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. Is this it? You aren't a half-bad assistant. When I'm done with his surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. Okay. Well, that went better than expected. I sure as hell was not giving that guy 10 grand. Are you kidding me? I only have 28. Son of a bitch. I was thinking he'd be all like, give me 200 bucks. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go. Well, that's true. It was that one time my bounty was like 10 cents. No, and I was like, no, we're going to go kill the guy. I'm cheap. Well, I spent so much money upgrading my weapons in my boat, I don't want to spend it on anything else. Alright, let's go talk to Hippocrates. He'll be stoked. Plus, I like murdering fools. Well, you're not wrong. The Athenian leadership is vulnerable.
Look, a goat. G -g goat! <laughs> Come here. Dick. Got him. Hey, there's that dude. What's up, that dude? I'm running faster than your horse. How's that make you feel? Goodbye. The five helmet mark for your bounty was very expensive to clear. I don't doubt it. Hippocrates, how's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this means you helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to most matters, <laughs> I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After? I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. <laughs> Bath time. Do, 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 do. Oh. I guess she was done. Okay. So. That's completed. $24 redos. No thanks. See, what's weird is it says $24 there, but over on the right side of my screen it says 23 That's weird. Apparently they're not using the same thing for calculations. Did I get any new cool weapons? This is armor, but whatever. Shut up! <laughs> Was this any better? Uh, my assassin's damage goes down significantly, so no, I like assassin damage too much. This is even worse. Have I learned anything new about cultists? Uh, no. I can kill this guy, though. He's, he's level 22. That guy's easy enough. Wow, he looks scared already. Yeah, let's go kill him. Yeah. Cappy's stoked. Yeah! I love murder. I love murder! Yeah! <laughs> wow, he's not even that far. He's only 1,700 meters away. You just walk over there. He said, looking at an island in the distance. <laughs> Alright, it's a little further than I anticipated. Uh, let's... Let's come over here. I could swim that. Let's come over here.
Frogs for Cappy! Yeah! yeah. Appease the frog goddess before she burns us. It's alright, the way she would burn you is just say that she's not going to do Mass Effect 2 for another week. Burn! Burn! That would be the worst news, though, if it was just out of spite. Well, not only that, but it's just as much of a punishment for her as it would be for you guys. So she's definitely not doing that. Let's hope no one notices me here. She wouldn't want to do that. She lied. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll show you. Hey guys, check this out. No. I was going to say something that was going to be funny to me and probably to Cappy later, but now I don't want to. I'll say it. Because she'll take my, my stuff away I just got. I'll say it. I'm thirsty. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the top bar go red sometimes? That's indicating that the area that I'm in is now... Um, enemy area. Like, the people in this area will uh, will aggro me. Regardless of if I think I'm on, I'm on their side or not. And I don't really know whose side I'm on at all. Wow, you're like the best or something. Or something. Yeah, just the or something part. Just the or something part. You need some carbonated soda. Nothing. See, it's nothing. It's it's just it's just slurm. Don't worry. Slurm. Slurms, Mackenzie. <laughs> Party on, slurms. Matt, you have no courage. Nah, dude, you don't know what she just picked up and threatened to take back. She picked up something awesome I just got today. And I don't want it to go back. I want to use it. Better stay hidden. I bet it's hair gel. Shut up! Oh, you dick. Now they're all just agreeing with each other. Douche! Wow, that one dude fell to his death. Holy shit, that was awesome. Salami marble quarry. That's how that's pronounced, right? Salami?
Confirm the cultist's kill. Oh, I killed the cultist. Sick. Oh, I shot an explodiator and I didn't expect it to kill them. Oh, no. Not the Watch out for the archer. Ha ha, stabby. Give me your shield, sucker. Noise. How do I... There we go. He died in such an awkward position the game wasn't quite sure. Bryson! What a cool name, I guess. What's his name? Bryce. Uh, Alright. Oh, hey, Creed. I started watching... Um, watching. I started... Consuming critical role. She didn't just disappear. I started with with uh, with campaign two, though. I watched the first episode of campaign one, and I was all like, ah, <laughs> "The production quality is low." Hey, it's Homer. Don't. So I switched over to campaign two to make sure that it was something I was going to be interested in. And then once I get caught up to current times in campaign two, I'll go back and watch campaign one. <clears throat> yeah, it's exactly what I'm doing, Creed. Yeah, Creed exact said exactly that. And I know Campaign 1's quality, like, increases really fast, but... You're, like, two months behind? I think I'm currently listening to Episode 9? That sounds right. There's someone there. Either 9 or 10. Who's my favorite? Character or actor? Because that's... That varies. Both, either. My favorite actor right now, it's... it's it's a pretty close toss-up between Travis and... God, now I don't know the dude's name. Uh, Travis and the guy who does not. Sh Sean? No? That doesn't sound right. Sam, thank you. Travis seems to be probably the best. Travis is probably the best at actually, like, playing the game and doing, uh, sticking with his character the whole time. But, like, the shit that, that Sam does is just, just that fucking was, great. What was that? Unfortunately, out of the female actors, the one I like the most is the one that's never fucking there. I think her name is Ashley. I've watched ten episodes. She's been in two. I was like, ugh. But apparently she has something else going on.
She's in a show called Blind Spot. Is that a TV show or something? Well, most of these people are, vo well, they're all voice actors, but uh, she's also like, she's like a 50-50 voice actor, real life actor, like IRL actor. Here. Hold on, give me your shield. Thank you. I'm gonna need your shield too, actually. Thank you. Yeah, but Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't a 50-50 voice actor. He's all- he's- he does voice acting, but he's primarily a in-person actor. What? Shut up. I'm missing a chest? Ah, there it is. Alright, cool, so I killed that dude. That tipped me off to any other cultists? It did not. Well, that's disappointing. He's too high level for me. Alright. Pirate Hospitality. Let's go... Let's break off of this one for a little bit. We'll go to this one, because this one's labeled for level 22 people. Where is that located? Uh, it's on Kios Island. Where's Kios? Here's Kios. She's in the city of Corisia, on the western part of the island. Wait, on the western part of Pirate's Revenge. Ah, over here. Was Kios? Okay. So, do you guys want to see what Cappy threatened to send back? <laughs> the thing that I was all like, no, I'll do anything. Come here, piggy. Oh, uh, Creed's leaving. Oh, he said not before I see the thing. Okay, let me kill this pig and then I'll show you the thing. 
God damn, piggy. Let me get out of the way here. Okay, hide in the bush. Okay, we're hidden in the bush. Eh, sorry, I didn't want to make you sit there and hold it. Twitch's uh, terms of service don't allow you to show your thing on stream. Oh, too bad. So I got a, I got a this, which has got a little, it's got a little purple birdie thing on it. Yeah, it's. I think it's a, I'm going to say it's a raven, because it's purple, and when you open it, it's got, it's got a little purple inlay thing with a little tray around the outside, it's got a whole bunch of D&D &D dice in it, and I got a whole bunch of D&D &D dice to fill it up, that are like, Orange and gray, there's a green set, there's a plain gray, there's like yellow and gray, there's a purple set. Then I had the other purple set that I've always had from from the last packs. And then I also got a set of, let me get that really close to the camera, a set of solid metal dice that are really heavy. Like, this D20 probably weighs the same amount as a full set of plastic dice. And then all the dice are, are the exact same. Like that. It's really hard to see, but... But yeah, the, the box is like... It's a, it's a dice rolling tray, technically. So you roll your dice in the middle part. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, I got the I got the metal set of dice because they were really nice. And then I was like, well, I need to have more dice so that when I need to roll like 3d6, I can uh, I can just grab a whole bunch of dice and roll it all at the same time. I don't have to roll one dice like six times. Three times, whatever. So that's why I bought a whole bunch of the, the cheapy plastic ones. And then I gave one set to Cappy to try to convince her to play. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. It was pretty cool. Have I played before? Yeah, I've played D&D before. Dude, I play video games on the internet for entertainment. I've played D&D. That's just like, that's nerd level stuff. You should set up a Battle Royale game for PAX, because you would totally DM that. You'd love to get in D into D&D? Well, if you come to PAX, Kane... No, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kane. Don't be mad. Wait, do I have to take away your, your dice? <laughs> no, don't take my dice away! <laughs> That's only going to work for so long until you realize I'm not going to do it. I know, right? Here. You should okay. So Kane, what you should do is starting right. Kane says, "Take the dice." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, "Shut up, Kane! Ban him! Get him out! You're fucking fired!" <laughs> what you should do, Kane, is you should start saving up for next packs now, and that's not one year. That's two years because we only go every two years. That's what you should do, Maestra. That's exactly what you should do for the sleepover. If that has on hasn't happened already. Is you should get the get the girls together and teach them D&D. &D. Girls love that. Well, she said her her younger daughter wants to learn to play. Oh. Girls named Cappy love that. Yeah. 
Are we planning on doing every other year? I'm planning on doing every other year until for I mean, for the foreseeable future at least. Till we die. Till we die, Till Cappy we die. says. Oh, the sleepover's already over. That sucks. Yeah. Round him back up! <laughs> Do it again! Oh, am I not supposed to be here? I'm sorry. I'm going down? Okay. Bye! He said I was going down. So I went down. Hold on, I need one of these. Come on, Winston, let's go. Oh, I ran over the dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Kane said he is saving up for the next packs. Good. You're driving this year and it's going to suck? It's not going to suck that bad. Just download a couple of the episodes of Critical Role that you're missing. And listen to them on the drive. I listened to it while I was going around in West Texas this week. And I went through like seven or eight episodes. It was really good. There's only a, there were only a couple of things that I went back, like when I got to the hotel room every day, I would go back and review the episodes, because they, the, um, they do the fan art in the middle, and I like, to I like to look at the fan art that people draw. And then um, when they bring out like the giant playsets that they use, I want to see what the playset looks like. But I mean, after I listen to an episode, that involves going to YouTube for about... 10 minutes and looking at the art and looking at the playset and then that's about it. Oh, you got audiobooks to listen to? Okay, fair enough. Amanda's not into it? I don't think it's gonna work out. Also, if Amanda's there right now, I'm just kidding, Amanda, I'm sorry. I'm sure you're cool in your own way. No, let's just go. <laughs> wow, I should just shut up. Dwarf, I don't know what you're talking about, Creed. And I hope that's not a spoiler. Gods have mercy. You want mercy? Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Cassandra. Well, Cassandra. We're all thought to be murderers, too. So, tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. <laughs> I butchered several of your men to get here. What makes you think you'd fare any better? You are a bold one. I like that. But don't think your words scare me, girl. There is a fine line between confidence and disrespect. Lucky for both of us, I didn't come looking for a fight. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? Hmm. She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. 
then your path is not an easy one. She did. Yep. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? Considering you butchered a few of my people, I feel like compensation is in order. See you later, Creed. Have a good one. Why do you need so much Drachmi? I have a city to secure and people to protect. I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. Wow, my option is either to pay her or leave. Shit. I don't have the Drachmi yet, but I'll return when I do. There's no rush on my part. If you need work, check with my people in the city. I'm sure they'd have use for a capable mercenary. Trust a pirate to only help for a boatload of Drachmi. If I'm going to pay her, I need to find some work on this island. Ah. Oh, they expect you to say no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of money. And there's a lot of stuff to be done out here. Let's do it. Do it. <clears throat> All right. Well, work is available at the harbor in the city. It sure looks like it. <clears throat> work, work, work. Oh shit! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Am I okay to be here now? You guys still get it mad? Be much easier to travel the island now that everyone won't try to kill me on sight. Perfect. <laughs> Mom says she just brought a bought a Skyrim Atlas on Amazon. Say that again, Cappy. Yeah, is this a poster or a book or what is it, Mom? Did she buy a le a hand drawn leather bound scroll map? For like fifteen hundred dollars for a game? Yeah, clearly. That sounds exactly like what my mom would do, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, mom, you know there's a you know there's a map in the game, right? <laughs> you do have to explore everything, though. So yeah. Oh, it's a strategy guide with maps. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I need to send you the. Uh, the information for how to for how to cheat the way you want to do it, so that you can play the game more relaxed. I mean, how hard is it to take a merchant ship and get to Thera and back? Still, Xenia could have used that Miltos. The Drachmi would have been helpful in her fight again. Something we can help you with? Yeah, you were talking about the shipment. We weren't saying nothing. Nothing that concerns you, anyway. I'm always open to a good tale, especially if it ends in misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> the ones with Gotarzes always do. He's their worst captain on chaos. I'd like to find this ship. Well, I'll help you if you can. Then you can bring us a story. Who's this captain you keep mentioning? Gotarzes. Be thankful you don't know. <laughs> the Parthenon's got more chance of staying afloat than him. <laughs> What's Miltos, anyway? Miltos, the next best thing to gold. Fucking Athenians want it all for themselves. Self-important malakas. Do you know where I can find the ship? Could be anywhere, knowing Gotarzis. Oh, I heard the plan was to intercept the shipment near Lestris Island, due south of Chaos. Thank you. If you find that Miltos, be sure to come back and share the wealth. 
Of course, my friends. My likes. If I can find this shipment of Meritos, it's easy money. Xenia and her crew really destroyed the place. If they burn everything, how do they expect to keep the people quiet? Hmm. Oh, my plans, they're ruined! You sound troubled. I'm trying to steal Xenia a great treasure to celebrate her victory over chaos, but the directions have been stolen. And I suppose you want someone to steal them back. I tried, but they were stolen by the leader of Coresia, who Xenia banished from the city. There's a new truce between them, but no pirate would touch that. Lucky for you, I'm no pirate. Are you saying you'll help me? There's something in it for you if you do. Yeah. I suppose I could get your directions. Poseidon blesses me with good fortune at last. So where am I going? To the other side of the island. You'll find the tablet in the leader's house there. Once you have it, head to the nearby village of Poisa and deliver it to my associate. Where is Piesa? It's on the east coast of the island of Chaos. You said the leader's house is near Piesa? Yes. To the south of the village. Well, that's, that's perfect, Mom. The solution I have for you will make it a lot easier. Don't worry. I'll get what you want. Xenia will be thrilled. I await your return. Alright, there's another quest there. Let's head over there and get that one. <clears throat> What is this cheat? Now you're intrigued? Well, you still have to fight, but you don't have to die. What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Sheeps are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. I read the thing after he said it, but it sounded like he said sheeps. I thought that's what he said. Sheeps are pushing us out of the place. And I was all like, just stab them. What's the problem? What say? Ships. Oh. What kind of message do you want to send? Sinking some ships while flying her colors should do the trick. That's one way to do it. We're still pirates. We've a reputation to uphold in these waters. And nothing says, respect me, like a bit of blood spilling. Sounds to me like you're weakening the competition. Chaos not big enough for your ambitions? If we're going to take more territory, we wouldn't be hiring the likes of you. We do it ourselves. Best way to prevent an attack is to strike first. No arguments here. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need a repair, three broken oars on the top level, two on the second level, cracked spar. Oh, All right, sink some ships while wearing, while wearing Xenia's colors. All right, where's my ship summoned at? Over here. Alright, let's go over there, shall we? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Those are blue. Wait, were there? Were there? I need a break. No, there weren't. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's go sell some junk.
Okay. I don't have any engrave. Oh, I do have engraving on this sword right here. What did I have here? The three percent damage with swords. Okay. What does this give me? Twenty percent damage with the Sparta Kick ability. No thanks. I don't use my sword very often, so I should probably just keep uh, damage with swords on it. And I'm using a new bow. Plus 10% headshot damage. That could be useful. Let's get that one. I'm also using this new helmet. What's the old one have? Oh, headshot damage as well. Okay. Let's get just just get straight up additional hunter damage. No. Let's get headshot damage as well. See you later, Amy. Have a good one. I'm wearing new boops. What did this have? This had sneak speed, right? Yeah. Let's get sneak speed. All right, upgrading. What level am I? 24. I have, oh man, I have some level 20 stuff. Let's get my wrists upgraded. Buy all your leather. Until next time. All right, cool. What is this guy? Oops, that's the wrong option. Ship. Colors of Kios. That's kind of cool looking. I have no figurehead. Switch to barbarians for this, because that looks that fits well. Need 1300 wood for the final upgrade of the hull. I think I'm just going to save up until I get 1300 wood and upgrade that. See you later, Maestra. Thanks for hanging out. Fancy. Welcome back. There's a message for you on the board. Came from the Vilos Islands. One of the cultists is there, Cassandra. His name is Botharkis. You reading my messages, Barnabas? I may have taken a peek. Fair enough. But hey, he found another cultist. Compete in the arena. 
Well, he said someone was on that island, and then it didn't unlock it for me, so... I don't think it's enough information, but... Ready to embark! Ready way to find what you were looking for in Athens? Yeah. A few clues. This won't be easy. Well, it's a good start. All we can do now is trust the path the gods have laid out for us. I'm not the only one looking for my mother. The gods that wanted to call us dead, they're also on my team. Ah, oh, there's no match for you. You got that right. These are Athenian, I think. I think blue is Athenian. I think I kicked another dude off of my ship, but like one of my own guys. I think that's a, a, a Sparta. Golden, golden red. Yeah! <laughs> 